Welcome to Chaotic Reunion. I'm Avie once again, and this is a little bit of an unorthodox video. And uh, the reason for that is just to kind of take a stroll through The Witcher's grand environments, as good as my PC at the moment can handle them anyway. And I wanted to talk to you about, uh, well, the plans I have. See, uh, I've mentioned it slightly as we've gone through the Minish Cap uh, since I've come back and, and I haven't really decided at the time what the real plan was, but I'm fairly certain of what I'm doing now. Fairly certain as in it's what I want to do. Combat music. What am I being attacked by? Oh, huh. whatever it was, it doesn't want me now. Anyway, um... Basically, my goal is to finish all projects that we've indeed started as of this moment. Uh, there we go, that's the button. I haven't played in a while. Uh, so I wanted, I want to make sure that any projects that started, uh, including uh, the Minish Cap, which is obviously the one we're focusing on at the moment, uh, the Witcher, and Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah. Those are the three projects I want to finish. Now... And obviously I want to do all of the Witcher games eventually at some point because they're just so fantastic. Uh, hopefully a better PC by the time I get to The Witcher 3, but I'll, I'll accept whatever. Oh my god, my sword's breaking. But, and you know, we'll see what happens with uh, The Witcher and such, but... Especially if you all enjoy it. Uh, I, I obviously want to pull out content that I enjoy, but also, like, feedback. Um... And obviously, they're not going to be one after the other. Uh, I honestly made a mistake going from Skyward Sword pretty much immediately into Minish Cap without much of a project in between. There was a lot of Zelda on the channel, and that was part of the reason that stressed me out, contributing to trying to do massive projects one after the other, and then starting The Witcher at the same time. I overloaded myself, as well as having health issues and all that, so things went haywire. But like I said, uh, The Witcher is well on its way to being back. I uh, just had to recover some notes, which I've written a good chunk. Um, my goal, pretty much, I think, at this point, is just not to be as thorough, not to worry too much about it, and to play the game like as if I was playing it. And I think what I'll do is I'll add a disclaimer at the beginning that... Oh, okay, there. There is. There is a thing. Uh, there's a button. This one. That's the button. Boop! Okay, you're with your levels. You are nothing. Uh, we want the silver sword. Oh, I had to reload. It's okay, we got him anyway. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, the, the note system is pretty much going to be a bust now. Uh, mainly because I just had so much to work with, and it's just gone now. And that was really disappointing, but... Like I said, I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning stating this is my playthrough, my choices, and they're not reflective of how the game would be under your choice system. And that'll lead for maybe, you know, purchase the game yourselves, and uh, it'll work out. It's just, we're here to share get wonderful games and all play them together, and that's what's great about making video content, is being able to do that. You know, it's, as even with my PC not being that great, this game still looks gorgeous. Uh, view distance is terrible. But, that's uh, pretty much the gist of everything. Banjo will obviously take a return as well. Uh, all three of these series will be focused on. I'll be alternating between them, trying to finish them all in a reasonable amount of time. The Witcher will probably take the longest, as it is the longest of them. The Minish and Banjo. Uh, Banjo will probably finish faster than Minish, if I focus my cards correctly and really share between them, but I mean, it shouldn't be too far behind as it's not that much longer of a game and we are pretty much at the halfway point in both of them. Uh, the Witcher, however, is just barely started. So that'll be the big project to focus down. And then we'll move on to some other stuff. I, I just, I feel like I owe it to people to, to pretty much just do everything properly and to just finish without leaving behind things. It's not a gimmick of my channel that I abandon a lot of projects. It's not, it's not what I wanted. It's just things, and uh, I have a habit of getting bored with games halfway through when they don't hold my interest, uh, especially replaying them. Sometimes they just don't, or they're bad parts of the game, or I'm 
just plain didn't feel like recording and I wanted to try something new and end up dropping a project halfway through. It's just... Things happen. And they're my fault. For the most part. Oh my god, most of my gear's breaking. We'll be fine! This video's ending anyway soon anyway. So... That's pretty much the gist of what I wanted to get done and mention here. I just wanted to make a small update video letting you know the situation. As for the upload schedule, well, there really isn't one. I will record as frequently as I am able, and just we'll get content out there. That's, I, I want to be consistent in, in content and not leave huge gaps, but I don't want to commit to a daily schedule, not yet. But I'm pretty sure I can do it, especially with things calming down, as I've said. There's more of a, more of a set a set world that I'm in right now that I have full the full ability to control. So, I've been Javier of Chaotic Reunion. This has been a weird Let's Ramble video where I've actually decided to do live commentary in a game rather than just posting some old footage or some footage I've grabbed from other channels. Uh, obviously, I'll, I've always credited them, if that's the case. But, looking at that awesome sunset, I'll see you all in the next video.